click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends and today we are going to study a problem number 2 which is based on discrete time Fourier transform. In this numerical we are going to solve a function that is we want a result in DFT but using DI triple FT algorithm. What do we mean by DI triple FT algorithm? Decimation in frequency fast Fourier transform. So let's see first of all what is the question and then we'll move on to butterfly diagram. Uh, problem number 5. Compute the DFT of a sequence x of n is given cos of n pi by 2 where my n is equals to 4 but we have to calculate using di triple ft algorithm. As I said di f fft means decimation in frequency fast Fourier transform algorithm that we are going to use. Now we will see a butterfly diagram of di triple ft algorithm. Now this is our di triple ft algorithm butterfly diagram now on input side we will write the sequence in normal way and at the end of output you will get even output and odd outputs now first of all how to calculate a0 a0 is the addition of x of 0 and x of 2 a1 is the addition of x of 1 and x of 3 whereas b0 is the addition of x of 0 and x of 2 which is multiplied by minus 1. Similarly we are going to calculate b1 which is addition of x of 1 and x of 3 which is multiplied by minus 1 and then you will get the values of a1, a0, b1, b0 and then these values are multiplied by first of all b0 and b1 values are multiplied by omega 4 is 0 and omega 4 of 1. Then we will move on to x of 0, x of 2, x of 1 and x of 3. So first of all we will calculate a0, a1, b0, b1 and then we will substitute all the values in my butterfly diagram. First of all what is my x of 0? What is my x of 1? What is my x of 2? What is my x of 3? What is the input sequence? So in our question, the sequence, our question is given x of n is nothing but my cos of n pi by 2. We have to calculate the input sequence. Now in question, the x of n is given that is cos of n pi by 2. But how many samples you are going to calculate? In question, it is mentioned calculate DFT for n equals to 4, which means we are going to calculate only 4 samples. Means what? We are going to substitute my n value, which is starting from 0 to 3. So let's see what outcome you will get. Now here my x of n sequence is given cos of n pi by 2 and it is mentioned calculate a DFT for n is equals to 4 that is 4 point DFT I want. So we will substitute the value of n from 0 to 3 so that you will get a 4 sample values. So first of all I have taken n equals to 0 I have replaced all the n by 0 so x of 0 is now 1 because cos of 0 is always 1. Now we will substitute next value. Now we will calculate n equals to 1. So this n and this n is replaced by 1. Means what? You will get the value of x of 1. Now if the n is replaced by 1 then we will get cos of 5 by 2. And what is cos of 5 by 2? It is always 0. So my x of 1 value is or amplitude is 0. Now we will substitute n equals to 2. So this n and this n is replaced by 2 means you will get the value of x of now this n is replaced by 2 so 2 to get cancelled so we have only cos of phi and cos phi is always minus 1 so my x of 2 sequence value is minus 1 now the next that is last sample value is n equals to 3 so all this n will be replaced by 3 and we know that cos of 3 pi by 2 is again 0 so my x of 3 sample value is 0. Now from these 4 samples I can write the sequence of x of n. So what I will get 1 0 minus 1 0 where my origin value is 1. I will place all this value on my butterfly diagram. So this one is my origin value so my amplitude is 1 so I will write over here. Now my next sample value is 0 which is my x of 1 so I will write it over here. Now my x of 2 value is minus 1 and my x of 3 value is 0. 
Now, I have substituted all these value and we'll calculate A0, A1, B0, B1. And then after calculating, I'm going to again place all this value in my butterfly diagram. So that we'll move on to X of 0, X of 2 and X of 1, X of 3. Now, we will calculate A of 0. So what I have got A of 0 is 0, B of 0 is 2, A of 1 is 0 and B of 1 is 0. Now we will substitute all this value in my butterfly diagram. Look at here. If you want to calculate x of 0 then x of 0 is addition of A of 0 and A1 and if you want to calculate x of 2 then we will subtract a1 from a0 because a1 is multiplied by minus 1. Similarly, if you want to calculate x of 1, then it is addition of b of 0 and b of 1. But if you want to calculate x of 3, then it is a subtraction between b of 0 and b of 1. That is b of 0 minus b of 1. So we'll calculate all the values of x of 0, x of 2, x of 1, x of 3, 1 by 1. And then we'll substitute over here. One more part, which is what is the value of omega 4 of 1? Basically, omega 4 1 is nothing but minus j because here the value is 1. Here my n value is 1. If my n value is positive, which means we have e to the power minus j 2 pi k by n into n. If we have a minus theta angle, then we will always calculate our angle value in anticlockwise direction. So, my omega 4 of 1 value is minus j and that minus j is multiplied with b1 of but there is no use of this minus j because this value is multiplied with 0. After substituting all the values of a0, a1 and b0, b1 in my calculation, what I have got x of 0 value is 0, x of 2 value is 0, x of 1 value is 2 and x of 3 value is 2. So I will substitute all these values in my diagram, that is I mean my butterfly diagram of di triple fd algorithm. This is our butterfly diagram of di triple fd and this is the result which is obtained using di triple ft and this result is in dft format now we will write the x of k sequence my origin sample value is zero so we'll mark one arrow perfectly below to that x of one value is two x of two value is zero and x of three value is again two. so this is my x of k And this is our result. Now we will solve a new numerical in next video. So thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned to EKDA and subscribe to EKDA for further more videos. Thank you so much.